Well, this is a long overdue video. We're going to go over how to make scoreboards. So if you're watching this video, you probably want one of three scoreboards, and I'm going to teach you how to make all of them. Now, I'm also going to teach you some really advanced stuff. So this is like the ultimate scoreboard lesson. I'll probably post it like twice just so more people find it. Now, this video is going to show you everything you need to know and it's going to be real easy. So the first thing I want to show you is the first kind of scoreboard and it is the um, sidebar scoreboard. Right now you can see I have a player level and it's visible on the sidebar right there. Player level, my level is 124. Let me show you how to make this. And in order to show you I have to go to my code room here, my code ship. So. There we go. Now here's how to make a scoreboard. Right here, this machine perpetuates the entire scoreboard. If you make one of these, it is all you will need. So here's the first thing you do. Um, you want to make a repeater and have it facing upward so this repeating command block is unconditional, always active, and delay in zero ticks. And you type in test for at all. This is the first one. It's um, very generic. You just type that no matter what kind of scoreboard you're making. But it's going to get more complicated, so pay attention. Now this second block it goes into it is execute as at all at at s run scoreboard players operation at s and now here's where i have the name of my scoreboards i have d level which stands for um dummy level or to actually no a better way to think of this is display level so i have d level equals at s level so i have two scoreboards that are existing here D level and level. Now they need to both exist in order for you to get rid of those stupid player offline messages. That's that's not going to be there. Like, see, people can log on and log off, and it goes away real quick. No worries. So now this is a chain unconditional always active delay and zero, and this is the code. Now, if you're going to say do a kill scoreboard I would replace D level with D kills and replace level with kills and, and so you can make multiple of these you can have lots of scoreboards but then you'll need a cycler which I'm also going to explain it's uh, it's so advanced and so cool all right out of that you need a comparator and you want it set with this light off you want that running into one redstone and the observer the observer should be looking at the redstone. It should be going out into this block, which is a repeating command block, unconditional. And this one needs redstone. Don't mess any of this up or this machine won't work. Now, scoreboard objectives, remove D level. So if yours is D kills or D power or D money, whatever it is, if you're doing money, then that's remove D money. Now that goes up into a chain unconditional always active. You may as well make three chain unconditional always actives going up. And here's their different um, commands. Scoreboard objectives, add D level dummy, and then you use parentheses to include what you want the, um, the scoreboard to look like, to say. So I use section sign 6, section sign L to make big gold letters, and then I type player level inside of the parentheses. Now, remember here you have add D level. You need that to be D kills or D money, whatever yours is. Each one of these is going to do that to you. So right here you have scoreboard players add at all level 0. So that needs to be money 0, power 0, skulls zero whatever it is you're making your scoreboard be and then up here scoreboard objectives set display sidebar d level now this is the one that's actually going to set the display right there and so this is how you get a sidebar one 
Now, there is another kind, and let me show you. So if you go in here, there's scoreboard, objectives, set display, and now I can choose below name, list, or sidebar. Now, you can set it so the, um, right, well, let me just show you. So if instead of using a sidebar scoreboard, I set a list, and then, you know, I broke the redstone, <laughs> and then put the redstone back, now the scoreboard's gone. But if you hit escape, now the scoreboard shows up in your pause menu. So that's less invasive. If you don't want it like in your face while you're playing, then I suggest the, um, the list version. But you can also do below name and, hey, where'd it go? There it is. You can do below name, but the problem with that is you can't see it. Only other people looking at you. So I tend to put that as people's, you could put the power level near their name so other people know how strong they are, but you don't need it as your main point. I think sidebar is probably best for this method because then you always see it. You know how much points you have, you know how much everyone has. If someone else were to show up right now, I would also see their stats there. And so this is the first scoreboard. Now, I, there's one more thing I need to show you. Once you've created all of this, um, you don't actually need to go in and create these scoreboards. One of them's doing it for you. It's, um, where is it? It's this one. This one's creating the scoreboard D level. But the scoreboard level doesn't exist still. And you could just type it in, but I tend to have things so they're always working in case something breaks. So I have mine right here. It's a repeat, unconditional, always active, and it's delayed in 60 ticks, meaning this only goes off every three seconds. So, cause you kind of only need it to go off once. Like I could destroy this, but the reason I keep it is cause I'm gonna move this building to multiple levels and it'll need to create the scoreboard once more. So just have this here, repeat unconditional, always active, delay 60 ticks. Scoreboard objectives add level, dummy level. So replace both of those levels with whatever you have. And then boom, you've got a scoreboard. So there's still other things you need to figure out, like how to give scores. Here's how my player levels work. It's this machine. And you can copy this or you can do something else. It's really effective for me, but the thing that it ruins is enchantments. And so I have other variations that I'm gonna play with. This is just temporary. So what this does is anybody who is over level five in enchanting levels gets tagged level up, which is tag at all brackets, LM equals five brackets, add level up. This happens every four ticks, so um, multiple times a second. And what happens is it takes that XP, so XP minus 5L at all with the tag level up. So if they have that tag, it steals that XP from them, and then it gives them level one by saying scoreboard players add at all, tag level up, level one. Then it removes that tag from everybody. Tag at all, remove level up. So if I were to gain experience, I don't know, just like this, what's gonna happen is once I hit a certain point, I'm gonna level up. And you can see that, but let me show you a little better. There, so see I'm level three, then I go to level five and it goes back down and I gain one player level. And these player levels give me all sorts of powers. Right now I have all of these things because of my player level. Well, except for night vision. That's just for recording videos. Now, um, this is the wall of rewards for having these levels. And I'll show you this too, because you'll probably want to know it. But um, let's say, here we go. We've got the reward for level 300. And this repeater goes off every three seconds. And what it does is it affects at all P 
people with the score of level 300 or greater. So you do level equals 300 dot dot. And anyone who's higher than level 300 is going to get haste for 20 seconds at one power. So haste two, and then it's going to be true. And these are just more of those, a lot more of those. And if you set them up like chains like this, they don't cause as much lag. But, you know, you'd have to create a lot of these to cause a problem with it. Now, um, so that's the whole system for the scoreboard, everything. And now I'm going to show you a more advanced scoreboard because you might prefer that. Okay, so now that we're in my main level, I can show you the other scoreboards. Oh, are you admiring my my anime collection and my Mewtwo? Yeah, I drew this Mewtwo, but that's nothing. If you like Mewtwo, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> it's my Mewtwo fortress. I haven't actually gone inside of it and made it anything yet, but it is totally go insideable. Yeah, there's two layers. And so it can be this sort of like mini ladder base. I just haven't gotten into it yet. Well, anyway, that's not why you're here. You're here for the scoreboard. So as you can see, I'm going to show you two new things. I'm going to show you this, the ultimate scoreboard, and then I'm going to show you my um, scoreboard cycler, which you can see here. I have a, a scoreboard list, and it cycles. See, it shows three different things. It shows the key charge, the cat crystals, and then the meower level. But you can see it all in this name tag, too. And this name tag's removable, it's all coded really well, so I'm going to show you it all. Now, to create this scoreboard down here, I just need one command block, and it's this. So you're not gonna you're, you're not gonna like this, but here here's the command. <laughs> so um, maybe I will type this out one day and put it down in there, but for now you're just gonna have to look at this. Now, I'll explain it all. There's execute as at all, and then the tag not opt info. This is so I can remove the tag later. You, you'll want that, and I'll show you the tag remover. At s run title raw at s action bar, and then I've got raw text, and it's selecting where to put it, and then I'm having the meower level. And I'm plugging in afterwards the objective D power which if you saw from the other one, you'll know that's the um, display power. And then I put all of them in just like that. So it's a really easy command. It's just a lot to type out and make sure you don't miss any of those little symbols. You know, it might be easier to just look at it like this. Hold on, let me get a dark background. <laughs> yeah, so to look at this and just pause the video and type that in and um, well I mean you know you're gonna have to replace some of these things and if you don't have three different scoreboards you're not gonna need all of it you can just use as many scoreboards as you have and you could use more if you like and these are personalized so mine shows me and no one else can see my scoreboard right here to see my scoreboard they would have to check the list or look above my head. I also have that here, but that's the next thing. Right, so like, check it out. See, I can't see this person that showed up. I can't see their scores, but if I go here, I can. They don't have a power level. Their key is slowly charging, and they have a few crystals. So they haven't played in this level very long. And um, if I go to them, I could show you that it shows up over their head. It's actually really good timing. See, I have the over the head scoreboard too, so you can see that he has all of his stats listing above him. I guess I'll give him some stuff. Oh wait, he's in creative, there's no need. Yeah, anyway, back to the scoreboard. Oh wait, no, while I'm here, I can show you my opt out feature. So, these two buttons, this one hides the stats. 
See, if I push it, all these stats go away. And then if I push the other one, they come back. And the way these work are very simple. This one is tag at p add opt info. And so it'll say that they're opting out of info. And because of that tag we put in the tell raw command, it's going to not show it. And this one removes that tag. So very easily with these two settings, I can add or remove my display tags there. Because sometimes, you know, you don't really want them around. And having them gone is better just for gameplay and stuff. Now, the next thing I'll show you is the cycler because it's tricky. Here's the cycler. Now, as you can see, the visual scoreboards above people's heads and the one in the list cycle through all of them. That's because of this redstone block moving from space to space. These three are my different displayers. So this one shows objective power on the list and it shows power below name. These are all um, repeat unconditional needs redstone delay in 20 ticks. And then the next one is zero ticks chain. So this one shows the key and this one shows the money. So I have these set to need redstone. So all I have to do is code a redstone block to go under each of them. The way I do that is with this machine. You need two blocks for each option. The first block fills all of these three spaces with netherite. And you'll have to figure that out for yourself. I mean, the way I have it set up right here, you'll see it's all tilde based. So I could move this and it would still work. But if you want to do it easier, just use your positions of your blocks. But what you want to do is you want the first block to replace all of these with netherite or whatever. And then you want the second block to choose the redstone piece you want. Now these two blocks, this one is delayed in 180 ticks. This one is delayed in zero. So after these two fire, there's a 180 tick delay before they fire again. During that time, this happens 60 ticks after. So I'm delaying this one by 60 ticks. So the block gets moved here, 60 ticks go by, and then the netherite fills again, and the redstone block gets moved to the next space. Then this delays tick 60 ticks again. So with 180, 60, 60, it goes three seconds, three seconds, three seconds. The redstone will stay on each one for three seconds, and this one cycles it up. I hope that made sense. And, and that creates your cycler. So if you watch, the stats on my screen change every time the redstone moves. That's what actually controls it all. So this has been the ultimate scoreboard collection. If you know these commands, you can create any scoreboard. There's actually four or five different ones you can make out of all this. And the next thing I'll be doing with this command is showing you guys how to make basically like functionalities and gates with it because I have a lot of them. I have a lot of different things that these different scoreboards do. Like they all do different things. Like the key charge, that lets you use spells. The crystals lets you buy things from different shops. And the meower level controls your passive abilities. And so uh, I'm going to teach all of that in this set of videos. So make sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell and doodly doot doot doot. See you next time.